Hey guys, it's Alex here. Today I just wanted to show you guys my cool mask that I made. Yeah, you can't see. Uh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait. might be able to see it now but yeah this is my homemade Jason mask I mean I know I could do better what I'm trying to do is I I'm going to take some uh, Krylon almond so I'm gonna take the Krylon almond and uh, coat it all over the all over here including the black parts as well obviously uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put tape over them so they you know don't you know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint, do some uh, spray paint all over there, some Krylon, and after that, wait, no, I'm not. Wait, never mind. Uh, so first I'm gonna take the gray primer Krylon, and then I'm gonna spray it all over there. Then I'm gonna take the uh, almond Krylon, and then I'm gonna spray it all over there. And then I'm gonna take the um the clear gloss cry. Krylon, the clear gloss Krylon that I can't speak today, and then I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna spray it all over here. So I'm, so what this is, it's, it's actually supposed to be blood, but it isn't blood. It's obviously going to be really, really good looking. Uh, this stuff right here, it's actually really good looking. Um, uh, nail polish. Yes, this is nail polish. It's really really good and then I took some string and obviously wrapped around the holes but I'm going to make more holes to, to make it even more realistic I'm gonna take like one of those uh, I suggest for the straps to use a an 8 by an 8 slash 6 an 8 16 as an 8 slash 6 8 slash 1 6 and a 5 slash 1 six i believe i believe that's what it's called it's uh if you see closely it's about this big i'm i'm standing right here and i'm standing right in front of me and i'm holding this right near the jason mask so it's about this big it's not that big and the other one is about uh this big i guess something like that like right there you know so i'm gonna put some holes right here some holes over here to make it even more realistic it, one, two, three, triangle, one, two, three, triangle, and then I'm going to take some of this, and then I'm going to plop, 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 there you go, it's going to be easy, but still, it's going to be quite cool, and then what I'm going to do is I might be able to buy some decals of the, uh, chevron, the chevron decals for the Jason mask, but I think it more looks like some sort of Japanese kind of style thing so anyways I'm just gonna I have a very stuffed nose I'm just gonna put this down so I can actually show you so here's the mask itself oh yes the, uh, oop, am I showing it the right way because <laughs> I see it this way I see it like this way but you know uh, I bought it for like a dollar so it wasn't that much I bought it at CVS surprisingly they had some pretty decent Jason masks there I'm gonna put it on. It kind of looks like the jet, one of those uh, old uh, Japanese war flags, like used for World War Two, like the, the the sun in the middle and then the big stripes all over it. Looks something like that, but I mean, it does look like a quite a good mask. But I mean, it's not like one of the best Jason masks out there. I wouldn't suggest like using it for like normal Halloween cosplay, but if you wanna go ahead, I don't really care, but the best thing that you could do with this is that you can actually take it and modify it, so that's what I'm going to do in my next video when my mom, of course, goes to Home Depot and buys some Krylon, if she does, so, yeah, sadly, uh, I was at my grandma's house and somehow she didn't have any Krylon, so, I mean, Krylon is basically the best type of spray paint to use, she did have some Krylon, so I made another mask, and I, but it wasn't a Jason mask. This thing is actually quite, uh, let's, let's take a look, see? 
one of my fingers. So, I mean, this is quite, uh, very durable. Oh, my dogs are barking. Uh, it's, it's quite durable. It's not, like, gonna, let me drop it on my foot to show you. It doesn't hurt that bad at all. So, I mean, but yeah, it is quite durable. So, yeah, I might actually be able to take a Dremel and a sander, and I might be able to do it like that. I might be able to... I might even be able to make, like, one of those uh, cool part four things in which he gets, like, the hatchet stuck in the head. Like, I might be able to do, like, a huge cut in the head like that. That could be quite cool. But anyways, see you later. Bye-bye.